hi everyone welcome to key blogging and in this video i will show you how you can submit your website in google news whether it is a blogger website or a wordpress website so let's start the video so to submit the website in google news you need to first submit your website in google search console and after that you need some basic information like site name site url a site description email address author name a square and rectangle logo rss feed so to get the rss feed in wordpress so let me just log into my wordpress website so this is my wordpress website and to get the rss feed url i can simply type like feed after my home page url and it will redirect me to the feed link and to get the feed url in blogger you need to create a feed burner account so simply search for feed burner and click on the first link and here you need to burn your website so let me just copy the blog url from here and i will paste the url here and i will click on next now you need to click on the second one feed or i can select the rss feed here so let's click on next and here you can set a feed title and the feed address so click on next okay now you got the feed url so let me just click on here and as you can see this is the feed url where the google news will copy the content and display it in the google news app okay now you got the feed url both for blogger and wordpress so let's check how you can submit in google news so i will type like google news publisher and hit submit and here you need to click on the google publisher center so the website url is publishercenter.google.com so just click on here okay now you have to sign in through your email address where your search console account is located and after that click on the add publication here and you can simply add the publication name so here i will copy my site name like this and i will paste it here and i will add my website url here so let me just copy the website url and i will paste my website url here and i can set the location so i can select my country here so i will select india here and i will click on tick box and i will click on add publication okay our publication is added now click on publication settings and here you can select the primary language so as the blog is in english i can select english or if you are running on hindi blog then you can select hindi as well so i will select english from here and let's click on verify in search console okay now it is verified you can click on save button to save the settings and you can also add a contact here so i will enter my email address from here so i will copy the email address and i will hit enter and i can select technical issue and product updates and i will click on add now let me just click on save here okay now you will get two email from the google news so let me just go to the inbox and i will confirm this by clicking on this link okay now click on yes sign up now let's click on the second mail here and i will click on this link and i will click on yes sign up okay now close this email here and let's click on next now you have to upload your square logo so let me just upload the square logo from here so it will take some time okay the square logo is uploaded so make sure to create 
वन थाउजेंड बाय वन थाउजेंड पिक्सल और यू कैन मिनिमम क्रिएट फाइव ट्वेल्व टू फाइव ट्वेल्व पिक्सल सो जस्ट क्रिएट ए स्क्वायर लोगो लाइक दिस एंड अपलोड इट हियर एंड यू कैन क्रिएट ए लोगो इन कैनवा जस्ट सिलेक्ट दी कस्टम डायमेंशन एंड क्रिएट दी लोगो नाउ इट विल आक्स यू टू अपलोड दी रेक्टेंगुलर लोगो सो लेट मी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन एड लाइट थीम रेक्टेंगुल लोगो सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन हियर एंड आई विल अपलोड इट नाउ आई विल क्लिक ऑन एड डार्क थीम लोगो एंड आई विल सिलेक्ट दी डार्क लोगो हियर ओके सो हियर यू कैन सेट दी डायमेंशन लाइक फोर हंड्रेड पिक्सल इंटू फोर्टी पिक्सल और यू कैन सेट दी डायमेंशन लाइक टू हंड्रेड पिक्सल इंटू ट्वेंटी पिक्सल ओके जस्ट अपलोड दी लोगो फ्रॉम हियर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो अपलोड योर कस्टम फंड सो हियर आई डोंट डू दैट सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेव हियर ओके नाउ दी पब्लिकेशन इज सेव लेट्स क्लिक ऑन जनरल सेटिंग ओके नाउ वी हैव डन इच सेटिंग लेट्स क्लिक ऑन बैक नाउ यू कैन सिलेक्ट द कंटेंट लेवल हियर एंड यू कैन सेट द साइड वाइड कंटेंट लेवल एंड आई कैन सिलेक्ट दिस ऑप्शन ब्लॉक एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सिलेक्ट ओपिनियन एंड इफ यू आर अलाउिंग कमेंट देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सिलेक्ट यूजर जनरेटेड सो आई विल लिव दिस टू ऑन ब्लॉक एंड ओपिनियन एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन अपडेट नाउ क्लिक ऑन एरिया कंटेंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू only display some specific category so suppose i want to display a specific category then i can select the url here so as the whole website is a news website then i can leave this as it is now let's click on back now click on google news and let's click on edit and here you can add a publication description so let me just copy the site description like this and here you can select the category so let's scroll down so as my website is in sports category i can select the sports here now you can select the distribution so here in the countries i can select the distribution to worldwide and if you want to limit your news for a specific country then you can select the allow specific country like this or you can also block some specific countries using this option so i will select worldwide and here i will select allow all properties in google search console now click on next okay now here in the sections you need to enter your feed url so let me just click on new section here and i will click on feed and i can set the title so let me just copy the website name here and i will paste the website name here and i will go to my feed url so this is the feed url that we have created in the feed burner and if you are using wordpress then just type feed after your home page url and you will get the feed url of your wordpress website so as this is a blogger i will copy the feed burner url from here and i will paste the url like this and you can select the viewer access to anyone now click on add now let's click on next and as you can see the, there is a preview showing like this so your website will be shown in the google news like this now let's click on review here and let me just save this first okay now let's click on next okay after some time it will ask you to publish the new chap so let's click on publish okay now it will show that thanks for submitting your publication to google news so the review process will takes 2 to 4 weeks and you will get an email when your publication is live or if there are any issue then you can ask them for review again okay now we have successfully submitted our website for google news so it can take 2 to 4 weeks so let me just go to google news from here 
and I will click on Google News and let me just search for TechLib. and I will click on here as you can see I have already submitted my website in Google News and it will show the source like this and you can follow this by clicking on this button and here you will see the list of articles and when I click on the link it will automatically redirect the link to my website so in this way you can get traffic from Google News and Google also index the content much faster in Google so these are the benefits of using Google News in your website i hope you got the idea how to submit your website whether it is a blogger or wordpress to google news and if you still have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if this content is helpful to you then hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging thank you